Good morning, adventurers. We are on our way to the train station. We're going to be leaving Tokyo today, heading to Osaka. We're gonna be taking the uh, high-speed bullet train, which we didn't get a chance to do last time we were in Tokyo. It's supposed to be the fastest one. A bus would have gotten us there in eight to nine hours. This train will get us there in two and a half. Oh, we got a car. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, he turned. So we're gonna give you guys a look at the train, show you what it's like. We're excited to yes. see it ourselves for the first time. It's much faster much more expensive, but we'll yeah. talk about that in a bit. But for now, we have to take a regular train over to the main Tokyo station, and then we're on the bullet train from there. We've already bought our tickets, and we had a little confusion when we did it, but we should be able to just show them to this guy over here, and he should let us through. She I literally really... gave us eight different pieces of paper here. I think if we show a combination of these two, should get through here and it should take us to our next station where we actually catch the bullet train. Oh, number one, truck, ah, wait, number seven, truck number seven. Four, truck number seven. Okay. 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 okay, well, it worked. It All right. Worked. I think we were supposed to scan, but he was nice because we didn't quite understand and just stamped it and said go on. So, all right, first stop down. This is the uh, Tokyo station. It is huge. Yeah, it's very big and it's extremely clean and tidy. Yeah. <laughs> very cool building. But we're just trying to head to a place to grab a quick bite before our train. Our train still doesn't leave for another couple hours or so. We decided to get here early because we didn't, we didn't want to chance it. Just in case things went terribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I think we finally found the cafe we have been after. We've gone through three underground layers to get here. <laughs> but I finally see the sign. We oh, did yeah. it. Garden house, that's it. It is real. Breakfast is served. Just kidding. Their breakfast was really crappy looking and their lunch starts in 20 minutes. So we're doing coffee so we can get their lunch. Yeah, and the lunch is not crappy looking, but Ooh. got me a little cappuccino. Yep. This is iced latte, it looks really yeah. good. Nice. Oh my gosh. Our amazing lunch has arrived. So I thought that their breakfast sucked and that was pretty rude of me. Their <laughs> breakfast was just toast. Afterwards she was like, why did I say that? It doesn't suck. It doesn't <laughs> suck. It was just toast, like avocado toast or like peanut butter and banana toast, which was great. But we were very hungry and this looks so much better. So I got some sort of lunch set. There's fried chicken and then I think five types of little salads, uh, some bread and a real salad, I guess. I just kept it simple with, uh, it's like a grilled cheese broccoli sandwich. Yeah. With ha is, some ham on there, I think? Eric uh, saw that on the menu when we were searching this morning for a cafe, and that's why we went to three different buildings, because he wanted a broccoli grilled cheese sandwich. I just got, had my heart set on it, you guys. <laughs> uh, one thing you should know is that Japanese train stations are very busy places. Yeah, at least in uh, Tokyo. They yeah. get crazy. And a lot of people running all different ways. So don't get too upset if you get run into or people keep getting in your way. Everyone's pretty polite about it and they try to maneuver around you. Didn't work. I think we might have put the wrong ticket in. Do you think you do both? I don't know. Damn. So we're not sure what happened there, but we went to the guy and he stamped the tickets. We got stamps. We're official. Okay. So I we guess. couldn't put them in the machine for some reason. But I've, well, I feel like they just give up on us and they're like, I'm just going to stamp it. Just go on through. <laughs> All right, now to the train. Pulling in now, we are in car number five and we have reserved seats. So let's get on the train. As the train pulled in, a woman got on it and just speed cleaned the whole thing so it's nice and pristine. She also reversed the seats around. These seats were facing the other way. I yeah. guess they're on a swivel or something. Yeah, there's, I just saw a little uh, thing under the seat. If you push down on it, these whole things spin around. So I guess the train come, came in this way. Everything was facing this way. Now we're going back that way. So we should turn them all around. I've never seen that before. No, never so even cool. thought of it. Yeah. All right, but this is going to be our seats. We've got some storage up here. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is pretty cool. I think we even have outlets. Oh, yeah. 
We get outlets. Okay, Japan, I'm liking this. The train is pretty no frills, but we're not in the first class car, obviously. Um, so the seats are pretty basic. They have a little uh, area to put some stuff right here. And then we've got the uh, tray table right here. Right. And a, a lot of leg room, don't you think? Yeah. Like, this is a crazy amount of leg room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do wish that there was a, a little footrest or something. Yeah, a lot of trains and buses will have a footrest here and that makes all the difference on a long train ride. But luckily this is not that long of a train nope. ride. Two and a half hours, that's not so bad. And then of course we have the power outlets down here, which is a must. They also have a cover for the window. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that on a train, only on airplanes. They have a little hanger thing. All right, you guys, it's the small things that make the ride comfortable. <laughs> That's awesome. We are off in about two and a half hours. We will, or just under that, we will be arriving to Osaka. We were wondering if we were gonna be able to really talk very much on the train because obviously it's a little quiet, but people are kind of making light conversation, so I think it's okay. okay. We were wondering if they were gonna have any kind of food service, so it looks like a lady's walking through now with a food cart. All sorts of goodies on it. Ice cream and coffee and chocolate. Ice cream, coffee, chocolate, all the essentials. Oh, <laughs> looks like they do have wine potentially. So if you're wondering what the restroom looks like, this is it. I, for some reason, I expected something a little bit more classy, but you get the job done. It's pretty much like an airplane restroom. You got your toilet, you got your sink, you got a bunch of notifications telling what to do and not to do. Like this helpful notification showing you how to properly use the toilet. That's pretty much it. Although I don't see any soap or paper towels in here anywhere. So that kind of sucks. So they have these little wash stations outside of the restroom, which I guess they have soap here, but I still don't see any paper towels or a hand dryer or anything like that. But I am gonna wash my hands. We have made it to Osaka. Wow, that was the easiest train ride in history. Yeah, we got a little work done. I think he took a little nap and then we were here. Yeah, it was just so fast and so yeah. quiet and so calm. It was Last great. time we came to Osaka, we did the bus all the way from Tokyo. It was very long. I'm so glad we didn't do that today because it was really nasty. It would have been yeah. a miserable ride. But we're here, we're gonna head to our Airbnb and then yeah, travel day done. All right. All right. Welcome to our uh, Osaka Airbnb. <laughs> I this is the whole thing, uh, pretty much. Pretty spacious, I'd say. Boy, did it start raining something fierce out there. <laughs> Luckily, we only had to go a few blocks. The station's just right down the road, but that was gross. We got all wet. So this is our place. <laughs> it's very large, as you can see. Yeah. It's got a large bed. That's a good thing. Yeah, a large bed. It actually has a table. Our last place did not have a table, even though it promised that it would. Yeah. So we've got the uh, refrigerator and the uh, microwave over here. Do we have a view? Uh, no. We don't. Oh, kind of. You can kind of see a nice view into a graveyard over there. There's that. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Uh, we have a nice shower bathroom. Yeah, we love these rooms that are just the whole thing. It's just a shower bathroom thing. Yeah. Oh, that's and then actually separate toilet spacious. room with a sink yeah. over there. Not too that's bad. Quite. Get ready while you're showering. Oh, they do have a hot plate. They oh, do. I was wondering if we were going to be able to cook something properly. And we have one pan. Oh yeah. And. A uh, fun little washing machine that oh, yeah. we'll have to see if we can decipher. Yep, because we definitely have to do laundry here. Dang, I was putting it off at the last place because I hate trying to translate all this into English and figure it out. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes your uh, stuff gets trapped in the washing machine for hours and you don't know how to unlock it, but wish us luck. So that is our Osaka place that we're going to be staying. Should we open this up? Uh, how do I do it? Go oh, there we go. Aha! But I think we're gonna get unpacked. We're gonna probably grab something to eat. We really wanna get some gyoza, huh? That's yes, what we've been talking please. about all day. And then our Osaka adventure will begin. <laughs> Hopefully with much better weather, weather though tomorrow. Yes. By the way, we will have a link in the description to our Airbnb link and to this place as well if you wanna book it. But mm -hmm. if you go to that link, it's like an affiliate link. So we get, I think $40 off on Airbnb if you use the code. Is that yeah, but more importantly, you guys get a discount on your first stay. Yes, so you and can it's stay, a hefty discount too. Yeah, you can stay in quirky little places like this, or you can stay in bigger, 
maybe nicer places if yeah. you want. But it really helps us out if you use that link. And also, we just highly recommend Airbnb. You guys know we use this pretty much exclusively in every city that we go it's to. It's always so fun because then you get to stay in places like this. So we realized that we didn't really talk to you guys about our ticket process. Basically, there's a JR pass, a Japan Rail pass that you can buy for unlimited travel and you pay one fee up front. If you're gonna do that, do it before you come to Japan. It's way cheaper because when we got here and we went to the ticket office, she told us it was gonna be about 100 USD more than we would have paid if we had booked in advance. So instead, she booked us a bunch of separate tickets that we had to use. It was very confusing. Probably if you're coming and you're gonna be traveling, get the JR Pass. Yeah, make it a lot easier. <laughs> and do it ahead of time. You can have it delivered to different stations or to the airport, I think, and pick it up in person. Be advised though, the JR Pass is very expensive, but if you're gonna be traveling around a lot, it's probably worth it to bite the bullet Oh, little, the bullet little train. train humor there. Oh. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> you guys, we went out and got gyoza. I'm just vlogging on my phone because I forgot the camera. But <laughs> look at this. This is 20 regular and spicy ones. Eric wanted to get 20 of each flavor. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad, glad I didn't do I that. That would have been a mistake. It. We also got some fried chicken because why not? Oh my god. But we're keeping it healthy. We're not drinking tonight. <laughs> Super healthy. So this inside part is the spicy ones and the outside are the regular ones, but look how beautiful these are. I oh made them in like this perfect spiral shape. It's and gonna it be so good. So good. Oh yeah. It's hot and oily and delicious. Yeah, hey, you can see it's steaming there. With all those goodies <laughs> oh, on the inside. We've come back to our place for the night. Probably made a mistake eating all that fried food. But it yep. sounded like a good idea at the time. We told ourselves we were gonna eat healthy today and then we just got thinking about gyoza well, and then one thing leads to the other. To make up for it, I did get a veggie cup. I think that'll reverse all the negative effects. Yeah, probably. I think so, right? Sorry, body. So I think we're gonna eat some snacks, watch a little movie and crash you out. Can't, you can't out us, say we were eating like crap and then <laughs> say now we're gonna eat snacks. Oh yeah, yeah, we sucked guys, sorry. <laughs> I promise. We, when we're not filming, we always make vegetables, but we're never really filming that because it's boring, but we eat it, we eat it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> also, it was pretty cool riding that bullet train for the first time. We were sad we didn't get to do it last time we were in Tokyo. I think it was a good decision. Yeah. Definitely don't feel like you need to do first class though, because I feel like the area we were in was so spacious that yeah. you wouldn't need any more room. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>